on gamers it's dream killers representing madden mastermind hope everybody's doing well today if you enjoyed the jam in the background that's new jabez actually a producer from japan has actually passed away several years ago rest in peace to him but makes great music and you know that's another reason i love music so much it's literally like the language of the world you know it doesn't matter where they're from what language you speak you know if you make soulful stuff i'm gonna find it and you know most people across the world can appreciate it so again hope you guys enjoyed i'm out here using the dallas cowboys on the road to the top 100 you guys know that deal again i'm sorry for the annoyingness of continuous use of them i'm using the bill walsh under center spread ebook available next week i just started working on it this morning so that'll be done i'm using the blueprint defense as usual trying to lock things down make things happen he actually had a really good second drive here. I started off with that good hit stick fumble, and then he really went downfield on me. And for whatever reason, though, you guys are going to see, like, I don't know. A lot of the guys are, like, they'll start off real well, and then I figure out sort of what they're doing, and they're not able to do it the rest of the game. And I feel like he suffered from that. So, you know, stay tuned to it. And for the guys asking, again, number one, really appreciate all the support, man. It means so much to me. Like, literally, I'm clicking on those comments a couple times a day. You know, there's a couple people who have some negative stuff to say, but, you know, we're not going to let the couple hold us down. I really appreciate it. Like, I love that stuff, man. It, it means so much to me, especially right now. Uh, you know, the more you guys leave, I, you know, I'm going to continuously read it. I, I will try to start commenting back. I was doing a real good job of it before, but, you know, it's just time time makes time restraints make it a little bit more difficult but again i really appreciate it number two for guys asking about the user play it is a comeback route i do have it done and posted for or it's not quite posted for master members it's uploaded i think uh cory our man behind the scenes he's gonna be taking care of that stuff tomorrow so there should be a good update coming there for the master members on that and when it's when it goes to the ebook which will be out of either Bill Walsh or Spread. I still haven't decided. I mean, pretty much my main formation is Spread. I think Bill Walsh has more, you know, better stuff. But for beginner players and people who are trying to learn, it's hard to just tell them to commit to always running under center. Some people more feel more, you know, feel like they have more time and more options in shotgun. And in Spread, when you're in Bill Walsh, which is my main formation, you can't audible out of it. And when you're in West Coast, you can. So maybe I'll do like a Myriad book where you can do it. And unfortunately, you know, for the Mutt guys, until they make that available, I don't even know what the deal is. But... It's really good for the rank guys and, you know, for anybody that's just trying to learn the game. It's a formation that literally you can really apply to anything. You know, you're going to learn some basic football concepts, you know, that really help me read the defenses and, you know, just make the right reads. And that's really all it comes down to. You don't need money plays. You don't need route switching. You don't need anything. You just need reads. Uh, you know, th different ways to manipulate the game obviously help you in getting W's and stuff. But I don't need it. And, you know, I still get wins. And, you know, there's going to be a time here once I have enough games and where I'm going to be in the top 100, you know, just playing – what I consider legit, I know guys say, you know, it's abusing plays, but everything I do can be stopped. I mean, I got other plays I'll start mixing in once they start adjusting, but, you know, if they're not doing much besides, you know, putting a yellow up or running a cover two or cover two sink, like, I mean, that's not going to be good enough. So, nonetheless, we're out here and, you know, we're executing again. We started off pretty rough there. We threw the pick. His corner did a really good job of jumping the route, but we're going back to user catching, which actually I didn't have a great success with. Des didn't really hold on a lot. Made a really nice catch there, but I think, I don't know, my completion percentage this game was only like 60%, so it wasn't actually as good as I thought. You know, again, it's, it's just a, a route that you can mix in. It'll open things up. It'll make him, uh, you know, have to respect it and start double covering, at which point that's exactly what you want because then other things are going to be open. If he starts committing two guys to one person, and I don't think, you know, unless you're mixing in blitzes and stuff, I don't think you're going to beat me running coverage defense in most players because you just leave too many other things open downfield, especially if you don't rush the pass. You know, if you drop back, he's never blitzing. He only has, like, one or two guys coming. Like, you got all day. Good pop there. Get the Marco to fumble. So, you know, it's going into the end of third on this game. So we're sending B-gappers. At this point, he's pretty much – or actually, that was an A-gapper. But he's pretty much locked up. I mean, he throws up that prayer and somehow completes it, of course. I guess that's why you get a Megatron. And I'm not going to say his name wrong. I'm just going to call him Megatron. That way I don't have to hear about it in the comment section anyway. So we're back out. You know, again, only up 14 here. So, you know, is it possible? I mean, I've come back from two scores here in the fourth. We've talked about that in the last couple of videos. So I'm not trying to give him that opportunity. Again, there goes that comeback route. We weren't able to have success. But, you know, nonetheless here, we're at third and six. That was a terrible pass. And then even on fourth down, I go for it. He lurks this pass real good. Actually should have probably been picked off. Maybe even a pick six. But I got lucky. So we're just going to continue on the defense, throw a B-gap at him. You know, and now he's just throwing up prayers again. And I think we send some more heat. 
no, nah, never mind. It's third and 19. So he's in a tough situation here. He's just chucking things up, hoping for the best with the amount of time on the clock. So we send a B gap for him. Of course, he freaking breaks the sack. But anyway, throws in the covers. We get the ball right back. So, you know, three minutes left now, unless something terrible happens and Romo breaks his leg, fumbles the ball, he picks it up, runs for a touchdown, kicks on side, then gets it. I'm pretty much got this locked up, right? He does have his three timeouts, but we got comeback routes that he can't stop. And we continue on. That one shouldn't have been thrown. That was like versus cover two. And we throw it again into coverage. So you can see, again, is it going to be the most successful route in the game? No, I think the hitch is the best route in the game. But anyway, you can see there, he concedes. Fellas, I'm Dream Killers from Madden Mastermind. Like the video if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support. We'll catch you guys again tomorrow. And then expect tips and the uh, switching of teams coming up very soon. Thanks.